is a company callback day today for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I am all ready um, to go. It is out. Um, we normally do the bigger kind of dance rehearsals and additions out at uh, Mary Hill Road at the community centre. So I'll be heading off there. It is once again a nice day. So it'll probably be absolutely roasting hot. Um, what else do I need to say? Um, I was going to um, help with the kids additions because there was like 300 to 350 kids had applied. Um, but I think they had all the help that they needed for the morning session at least. So I don't know if I'll be helping out with the later on session. Um, so yeah, it's, it's exciting stuff. Um, for those who don't know, um, the company callbacks, especially for Pantheon, is when basically all existing members who pass the first round of additions, company additions, and any new people who want to join the club past the first round of additions there we're all basically going to be all in one room probably doing the same dance and the same song that we did um in the first round um there like i said before there's already people who have been cast so we they're already in the show but they may be here today as well just for the fun of it um because it is quite a fun day you have the Lynn Buster workout which is a warm-up and the dance routine and you are absolutely sweating buckets by the end of it. Um, I think somebody once uh, at another rehearsal uh, had did their Fitbit um, to see how many calories they had burned and I think it was like something ridiculous after one of these um, Lynn Buster sessions. <laughs> it was something like our Fitbit was saying that she had like burned 2,000 calories. So that was a bit insane, considering most people consume 2,000 calories in a day. So yeah, before this session, I've had my breakfast, but before this session I'm going to get a banana and some water because uh, I usually don't remember to eat before them and feel a bit faint. Yeah. Last time there was muscles in my body that hurt that I didn't even know I had. So uh, uh, I'll get fueled up and prepared and warmed up for it. So Hopefully it'll be good. Um, it'll be interesting to see who who's doing the show because um, the fun information day, um, it wasn't mandatory for me existing members to come. So you only got a kind of fair idea of who was maybe considering doing Chitty. So today could be like a lot more people um, that I already know and have already done shows with. So it'll be interesting to see who's doing it. Um, maybe if there's any new people that I've done shows with before um if they got through so yeah it'll be exciting i seem to think i'm in the past today though because i am actually wearing my dance top that i <laughs> that i originally bought for my friend jennifer uh, it was her hen uh, night and it was like a 80s retro theme um, night out in Glasgow and I actually wore this top <laughs> and the underneath the underneath um, top as well on her hen night and I'm trying to calculate back in my head how long ago that was and I think it actually might be about eight or nine years so I'm wearing a very old top two very old tops today they were both from Topshop eight or nine years ago and I also wore this one, the dance one, to my first ever Pantheon edition, which was Beauty and the Beast. Didn't get in, but I wore the top and it's stayed with me since. So yeah, I'm stuck in the past today. I'm wearing old clothes, um, but hopefully, I mean, I do, I do have a small part, so that should mean that I'm in. So there shouldn't be any bad luck with the top or anything. So, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can film some stuff today. I don't want to annoy anybody, um, filming anyone who doesn't want to be filmed or anything like that. But um, yeah, I might bring my Polaroid camera as well because I've got Polaroids I need to use by July. So I might take a couple of Polaroids, savor some memories, um, maybe capture some distant stuff of all of us doing the warm-up or the dance routine and um, so yeah it'll be good hoping that there isn't 300 to 350 kids there because that's scary 
Um, so yeah, I'll keep these tuned. Oh, I also got my eyebrows done yesterday. And I don't know if they make me look really angry and scary. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Might not be a good thing to be looking angry and scary at an audition. So I'm getting ready for the company callbacks and I have a sock dilemma. A Harry Potter sock dilemma. Don't know if you can see. <laughs> But basically, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs or ten kinds of socks, and not one of them match. Not one. So, yeah, I don't know if there is a sock missing crisis. I don't know if there is a lot of free elves out there. Nice to know that there might be a lot of free house elves running about. Or, I have a serious case of wearing odd socks the rest of the time and now can't find their partners. So it may have to be a mix. It may have to be Ravenclaw Hufflepuff. Or Slytherin Hufflepuff. Slytherin Ravenclaw. Who knows? I don't know. This is a serious, serious issue for today. Shocking. Still finding Harry Potter socks. Again. None that match the ones I already have. I'm now questioning how many Harry Potter socks I actually own. <laughs> so there's 10 Gryffindor. I've decided to go with a Hufflepuff Ravenclaw mix. Because I am a Hufflepuff. And I think if I wasn't a Hufflepuff, I'd be a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Every time I take quizzes, I get one of these two. So, mostly that one. So hopefully I'm not going to be judged too much for wearing kind of odd socks. I mean, they come from the same pack, so it should be all right. Plus it looks cool. Harry Potter.